All right, it's September 22nd, 2022. My name is Timothy French, and we're in Coates, North Carolina, to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's start walking. Yeah, we're out here on the outskirts of this old main street, and got an old fence right here, and some old buildings that aren't being used anymore. And it's a shame if you go up and take a ride at the light there, and go out and turn into four lanes, and you'll have all your same old stores up there and you develop and all that's just coming in on, on this area but they're forgetting about their town centers and that's why I do these videos because I don't want you to forget about your town center and your history this little business building had a business at one time and all these did and as we get up closer you'll see some still do but uh, all development seems to be out there on the peripherals and I'm not a fan of that I mean there's nothing wrong with it but I don't want it to get to be where you let your town fall apart this was a creative critters at one time. What it says. <laughs> so that's interesting. Old sign, creative critters, got Coca-Cola. Had to di display windows that would have been in there. Got a nationwide on this side over here and a Viva Zapata Mexican restaurant. That's cool. So they've come in here and took over an old building here. That's interesting. Got some old uh, black and white posters in there and all that so that's cool but there's a look back at the uh, older buildings there the first little strip are empty but let's keep going on the crow is up ahead telling me to keep going <laughs> so we will nice little neighborhoods out in here the older neighborhoods right in town you can get plenty of land but you can see out there by the light that's where it's all at now and same old stores you can find all over the country so boring to shop at I love coming to towns to see something different when I travel, so I don't want to see that. I want to come in and see unique independent businesses. I mean, you need them in your town. Got polar bear hitting in there here. He'll take care of you. Got a little gazebo type thing up ahead here. Plenty of parking in town. <clears throat> As you can see, they let some older buildings go. Nothing's in there, so. Be nice to have some unique businesses in here in these old buildings. So you can park right here and they got a place to sit and they're telling you about their Farmer's Day parade they have every fall, a little festival they have here. And I was reading a little bit about it and uh, it's cool, but it was talking about it used to celebrate uh, farm crops and how to can and, and things like that and uh, preparation types of things. But now it's like uh, like all the festivals, it's about uh, bands and music and things like that, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You got a lending library there. That's cool. Right here. I'm going to check that out and get some books. All right. Let's continue on. Got Coach Public Library. Nice little library here, and they're ready for fall. That's good. Got this building fixed up. I don't know what it is. Don't have a sign on it. It says Town of Coats. So I guess this is the town hall now. In this building. That's good that they did that. I love to see the town halls right in town. Some towns abandoned their town center and go out there for the same old. I've been to a lot of towns that have done that. And it seems like they just let their town centers disintegrate sometimes. They're here, so they're not going to let it happen, I don't think. This is a... Uh, tanning building I was looking on top it says force fitness so they in there get you all fixed up nice bricks are put up in this section here so it's new here Sing man I'm not sure signage is not too good right through there Danny B West is in here that's a notary republic so that's cool got plenty of parking let's take a look back you can see all rev right down through there Let's go on down a little bit further. That's the trash cans here this morning, or this afternoon. Glad that wind's blowing. It's starting to get a little hot. All right, we'll take a little bit of a right here. Let you see out that way. There's big fire and rescue out there. There's the coach water tower. I don't know what they got over there. They got a vendor selling something over there. Let me shoot across real quick. <laughs> You got a little vendor selling some hot dogs and stuff at it. right there. We'll go back that way here in just a minute. Just want to check this out. 
Got stop and go brakes here. So I got it fixed up inside here. So I got a billiards place over there. That's kind of neat. And uh, tap room and brewery. So that's the kind of things you want to get in these little towns. That helps them out. Especially if they're local independent businesses. I like them better than the chains. Did you I think famous toasteries and place like that you'll see mellow mushroom i've been a lot of times we see those i like to see one-off businesses myself all right and it's got a little store here selling all kinds of uh, items there like a consignment shop so we'll turn around we'll turn around oh about missed the boutique right there i can't say the name because it's some kind of fancy lettering i want to say i yeah, better not try <laughs> Anyway, there it is. All right. If it, wind blowing a little bit. It feels good here. Not far from here is Campbell University. That was a beautiful campus that drove through. A lot of action going up around that area. All right, let's take a ride up here. Through the cars. There's Forest Fitness over there. I don't know if it's Forest Fitness or tanning. It looks more like a tanning place now. We got Josh and the Norris on this side here. Real estate, but you don't look like they're in business right there. This is open. What is this? Corner Stone Cafe and Coffee. So that's cool. And then we got Abby's and Bella's right here. Consign another consignment shop. All ready for your business. Then we got Shelton Martial Arts Academy right here. Get you in shape. All right, well, we're going back out of town here, so I think we'll turn, take one last look back. Coates, North Carolina. Come on out to the Farmer's Day Parade. I believe it's in October. Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk. If you did, I appreciate it. You like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.